Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Cyclops Polyphemus, most famously known for his appearance in the Odyssey vs Odysseus and his crew. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so to stay tuned for upcoming videos. Overall, Polyphemus is amongst the most recognizable of all mythological figures, for he was the Cyclops encountered by Odysseus during his journey back home. As illustrated by Homer in the Odyssey, Polyphemus was the son of the sea god Poseidon and Thoosa, the sea nymph and daughter of the primordial sea god Phorkys. This parentage makes Polyphemus distinct from the first generation of Cyclops, who were the sons of Gaia. Polyphemus was described as being gigantic in stature and possessing only a single eye, just as the first generation had one eye. Generally, in the time of the Trojan War, Cyclops were thought to be found on the island of the Cyclops, an island that is generally considered to be Sicily. On their island, the Cyclops would tend to their flocks and were therefore herdsmen, as opposed to farmers. The Cyclops were considered to be barbaric and cannibalistic in nature, killing and eating unaware people that landed on their land. By the way, if you want to know more details about the various stories and distinctions in regards to the Cyclops, based on the ancient sources, you can watch our video called The Cyclops, the One-Eyed Giants. The most powerful of all these second-generation Cyclops was Polyphemus, and so he was considered to be the leader. Famously, Polyphemus is encountered by Odysseus when the Greek hero makes his epic voyage home from Troy. It was relatively early during the journey back to Ithaca that Odysseus and a dozen of his men landed on the island of the Cyclops. All were promptly captured by Polyphemus and imprisoned within his cave. Polyphemus rolled a massive stone across the entrance of his cave to prevent escape and to keep his flock of sheep safe within. Then, one by one, the crew of Odysseus was being devoured. Following the death of several of his men, Odysseus comes up with a plan for the rest to escape. First, Odysseus gets Polyphemus drunk, then tells the Cyclops that his name is actually nobody, and then, when Polyphemus is in a drunken stupor, the giant is blinded with a sharpened lock. Polyphemus was now blind, but Odysseus and his men were still captive inside the cave with the giant. Odysseus, though, straps himself and his men to the underside of the sheep, and when Polyphemus rolled the boulder away to allow his flock to leave, in hopes of finding out where Odysseus and his men were hiding, the Greeks escaped. Rather foolishly, though, as the escape from the island was about to be completed, Odysseus reveals himself by telling Polyphemus his name. The Cyclops then calls down the wrath of his father upon the Greek hero, which would cause Odysseus trouble along his journey. The storyline of Polyphemus does continue after the departure of Odysseus, for Virgil in the Aeneid tells of the arrival of Aeneas upon the island of Polyphemus. The Trojan warrior rescues Achaemenides, one of Odysseus' original crew members who had been left behind. Slightly less famously, Polyphemus also appears in the musings of several other poets and writers, including Thocritus and Ovid, and tell of the love life of the Cyclops in a time before the arrival of Odysseus. Theocritus would write sympathetically of Polyphemus, telling of the attempts of the giant to wed the Nerite Galatea, even going to great lengths to improve his appearance to woo the nymph. According to Theocritus, Polyphemus eventually gets over his love of Galatea, realizing that there are others more easily seduced, and by ignoring her, Polyphemus ensures that the Nerite chases after him. Later, Ovid reverts Polyphemus' depiction back to a more barbaric giant, for when Galatea rejects Polyphemus in favor of the shepherd Achilles, the Cyclops crushes his love rival beneath a gigantic boulder, and from the blood of Achilles comes forth the river Achilles. Let us finish by the following saying. The character of the state reflects the character of its governors, Isocrates. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.